Hey guys, you're watching Zimon and Lonely. My name is AJ. Here we are. Back on another episode of Let's Build Springfield. Really started to move on to the right of the school. Most of the time, I will add, is the church. This is where the first church of Springfield is located, where Reverend Lovejoy and his wife uh, run it. Uh, I think that's what their names are, from what I can remember. Yeah, Lovejoy, with these uh, train sets and stuff like that. What I do want to do is I've got prepared, as you can see from my inventory, I think I've I think I've think nailed it this episode. I always say that, but I think this episode I've got it. Uh, so first off, we're going to do a five wide path, five wide path into here. Is that five? One, two, three, four, five. And then go up to about here. And let's do uh, set to stone. Now, is that far enough away from that edge? I think so. Looks about right. Looks about right to me. And there's a nice sort of entrance walkway down uh, to the front of here. Next step is hopefully today we're going to be able to get at least a decent uh, amount of the blueprint in. I want to work relatively quickly today to try and get as much in. 159. That's easy enough to remember. Uh, set to 159. Now... This is the closest colour that we have to it. It seems to be the colour that most uh, Simpsons buildings seem to be coloured in. And uh, we're going to sort of shortcut by doing the walls and then chopping out the windows where they go momentarily. On top of the door here, we're going to put in... Uh, I don't know what this is. Um, sort of just goes above the door, really. So we're going to put this in here. We're going to put whatever detail we come across um, as we go. Because I've got some pretty good reference pictures. Or a a pretty good. There's only one. A pretty good reference picture on how this goes. So I think we should be alright to add detail as we go. Because I have famous last words. But I don't think that we're going to get anything wrong. <laughs> I wish. I wish I never said that. Isn't that for sure? Okay. So then you sort of. You walk in there. No problem. Now we can put in where the windows are going to go. So they're just like little tiny square windows. We're going to have one block in between for a uh, a spruce leaf to go in. And then that can go away. Let's uh, get some grass back there. Okay, so that's how far one side of the building goes. The other side of the building, this part has no windows. But I am going to just, oops, extend this. <laughs> just see me swing and swing, swing, swing. <laughs> just go a couple more blocks out there. Because there's going to be uh, like a little, um, well, we only need it three blocks wide, which means we can take this one away. These are like little plant pots. And uh, I've even got the little red. See how prepared I am? I've cut, I think I've cut everything that we're going to need down. So they go like this. And then we get our uh, oak ones and our spruce ones. The spruce one goes up like that. And I'm going to do... Uh, I'm going to do the oak one, something like, like that maybe, uh, like that, yeah, see what I mean? And then on this side is uh, pretty much the same thing, uh, 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 uh. I'm going to add another one, like that, and then just do something like that, I think, there we go, that works out, that works out fine, wonderful. Okay, that gives us just one block, you see, either side of the driveway, or walkway, whatever you want to call it. That's why I was a little bit worried then, but I think we've got it. So then this one comes down here. If we can get the facade in today, I'll be very, very happy. Um, obviously, we're not going to be able to get the whole thing done uh, in one episode. That's just impossible. We're that's pushing the limits a little bit too far. But I'll put in some... Small little bushes along here. We have a big one there. Something like that will do. And then if we get some glass blocks to go in here and to go in there. And then around the edge is red. <clears throat> that was red. This one. Nice and thin ones to go around here. Oops. Can I go behind there? Wonderful. And around here. Just where you can. Like that. Okay, so that's nicely hidden up now uh, by the leaves. Now, we're actually going to come in one block. That's all it is, but you're going to come in one block if you're building this for yourself. Let's get our wand back. Where's my wand gone? There it is. 
uh, one block back, and then you're going to come out probably just the four blocks there. So we can knock a window out in the middle here for this window to go in, like this. And there you go, around the outside, around the outside, around the outside. Uh, now I'm using the image uh, for the game, for The Simpsons Tapped Out, uh, like how I'm usually doing on this series. Uh, but on the um, uh, on the Tapped Out version, there's only one window here. And on other pictures that I've looked at, there's actually two windows. So that's the pretty much the only change that I'm going to make to the tapped out version of the first church of Springfield. Just to go in there. And then obviously we're going to have some, some little bushes that come, oops, that come down here. And just add a little bit of detail in here, a little bit of shape to it. Something like that. There we go. Cool little bushes in there. And then it comes around the back side. I'm not really sure how wide this bit is. But I think that's a pretty good width just to start off with. Now, this is going to be a, probably a bit that I'm going to have to do off camera. Because uh, they're sort of half slab brown. And uh, it's not going to be the quickest thing for me to do on camera. This Anything with these slabs always takes a little while. But basically... What I'm going to do is I'm going to do it two blocks back like this and then we'll start the sort of triangle bit of it. Um, but let me get this down and I should be right back. Okay, I'll give me an idea of the scale of the building as well. Okay, getting there, getting there, definitely a little bit of an aircon unit or something in there. Uh, but we've got this sort of platform down now. And I think the roof of it or the next floor, I don't know what it really is. I think it's in the... Is it another floor or... No, I think it's just how high the building is, isn't it? But it's going to go in here. Either way, <laughs> we're going to try and squeeze something in here. Now, it's not the biggest space in the world. And uh, I'm looking at these pictures. I don't know quite how we're going to do this yet. Uh, but basically, three windows go in here. Each one slightly taller. Uh, or, or there's three of them like something like this do you know what I mean and then there's three windows in there um, and then maybe we can break them up by using I didn't actually think of that by using like really thin ones Let's just have a look let's see if it'll give the effect that we want where's my saw oh it's on the floor pick them both up I want to put those back together actually yeah like that Throw them away. Yeah, these ones, all these ones do is go down here. Not really all that important, but similar to all the other buildings, as we were saying last episode, is there seems to be like a little bit of a thicker version of it at the bottom. Like either, well, last episode I said of a darker version, and then the building next to us was actually slightly lighter. And then I said, oh, maybe it's um just a shade of it. And then this one turns out to be exactly the same color. So... Whatever I say seems to be wrong. Whenever I say anything, it seems to always change its mind. But that's one of those things, isn't it? <laughs> okay, brown door. Uh, I think this is the only option we have for the door. I think if I hit this with a hammer, I don't think we'll get any designs that I really like. No, I like the just being plain. And then we're going to get this hardened clay to go around the outside. Like this. Oh, this is where my inventory fills up so much. It's insane. Um, hmm. Okay, yeah, this is... <laughs> inventory management is going to suck for the minute. Let's put these down then, and then I can throw these away probably. Uh, I'm going to do it like that. Yeah, that works out well. Oh, that's poopy how they go through like that. And then all I need to do then... I just pick up my saw, throw those away. Ah, oh, I picked up the saw, but it went into the... Go away! Oh, please, just go away. Saw, grab it. Grab it. No. Grab it. Grab it! Oh, why doesn't it... Eh, eh, eh. There we go, we got it. Saw, and what? I can't even remember what I was going to do now. Oh, yeah. They need to be little tiny corner ones. 
Ah, uh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, inventory fills up so quick with these micro blocks. It's not even funny. Uh, what did I do? Did I? I did cut them down in the end. Wonderful. So then, these will actually have to go up here like this to try and split up the the two. And then if we get some stained clay here, uh, one, two, three. I got yellow, purple, and pink because that seems to be the colours of the of the stained glass on all the pictures. They all seem to be that. So I think we've got this pretty much nailed, like that. Okay, that works out fine. That works out fine. And then put this here. That one there. That one there. That one can go away. Yeah, that might mean that I might chop down the edge of that off. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Okay, and now this one is the tricky bit, okay? Because this one has got to be a window in here. And then we'll do two blocks. And then there's another window in here, slightly smaller. We're going to do one block shorter. And then another one one block shorter another two blocks in between it two blocks in between it and another one even shorter than that works out well that works out pretty good doesn't it and then this is actually going to be an arch which we're probably going to have to use uh, collapsible blocks for which i do have uh, collapsible blocks to go in there uh, i don't know how many we've got three blocks and four blocks which is so annoying if i do four blocks like this we do one two three four and then you know what i think to try and make this easier on ourselves we're going to put down as many blocks as i can and then i'm going to do this that way we can do this oh no oh please yeah that's working that's working See how it's doing it for us? It's really hard to do. Most of the time, I have to place them all by myself. And it takes forever having to hammer them down. But this seems to be a little bit of a shortcut. Wonderful. So we'll do the same thing here. Apart from these end ones, we might have to do a little bit of a hammer job. Come on. Hurry up. Yeah, we're going to have to do a hammer job on this one. Oh. Ha, <laughs> ha. <laughs> so much hammering in fact all right let me get this level and uh, i should be right back okay okay i think i've got it all hammered this one looks wrong there and there okay so i think it's all leveled out i think we've got a pretty good slope and then the next part is the one that goes up even higher and i thought i'd come back just so we could work it out together maybe and there we go we can hide up this this edge somehow at the end. Not quite sure how yet, but we'll hide that because I don't like how that, that sort of looks. It looks a little bit funky to me with like that chunk missing out of it. But I'm sure we'll be able to do something. So let's put in some stained glass in here. A yellow one, yellow one, yellow one, purple one, purple one, purple one. Like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're getting it. We're getting something. We're getting something here. Okay, and then this one, I'm going to actually remove this top piece of glass out, take that one down, because this is where the slope's going to begin. And I think we can do this pretty easy with the slope block, so not even the collapsible ones. I think if we just done that, it would work out pretty good, and then stick these ones on here. Now, the color is sort of an aqua color uh, to me. It's like a mix between blue and a green we don't really have that color so i'm gonna have to use cyan which is sort of aqua i think it's gonna match up okay but like that you see and then obviously this one's an easy one to hide up the edge with we'll put these here and then these ones go up here this is where you've got to do it with these collapsible ones they don't quite work quite the same as stairs which is a little bit annoying um but i'm wrapping my head around them like that and then we can color both of those in and then as you can see we sort of completely hidden up that edge now do you know what i mean it's just got a nice flat edge on there but i think that's pretty good i think that's pretty good 
So then that's got to go all the way along to there and one wider. See if I put it there? See, it goes on its side, which is really annoying. You have to actually place it on the face of a block, uh, which is a little bit slow, but it does work out fine. And then you've got to go every other block so that you can then place down uh, a slope on them. That's the quickest way that I've found how to do them. And then we can go on the side of that one and on the face of that one. You see? Works out good then. Like this. And like this. Ah. Ah. Now, I don't have a Reverend, Love Do Reverend Lovejoy uh, skin either. Uh, which is a bit of a shame. Maybe I'll have a look for one. I haven't actually looked for him yet. Um, I'm going to have to start making my own skins, I think, for them. You guys have sent me a few of them. A few of them that I've, I've actually stored. So thank you for sending uh, those. Even once we do the buildings that require those people, uh, I will be using them. And uh, until then, uh, there's not really much point showing you. Oh, poop. Not really much point showing you who I've got. Uh, but I do have a couple more, which is really, really cool. Uh, but I think I'll have to start making my own, which I'm not looking forward to because I'm not the greatest skin creator uh, in the world. I haven't really tried all that often, all that much, uh, so I don't know if I will be actually any good at it at all or not. Uh, but that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Looks like the front of the church, doesn't it? Definitely. Definitely looks like the front of the church. Okay. So then we'll just hide this up. Oops. <laughs> Hide this up like this. Just down to there. Okay, and then the back of it is more of a dome. The back of this. Uh, the whole thing, in fact, uh, is pretty much a dome that comes in. Let's do this side first. Actually comes in one block wider than that. So that's going to be on this level that it's going to come out. And on this level... It's going to come out one block wider than that one. So that works out pretty perfect, really. That works out works out brilliantly. Uh, and did I say I was going to take away this one? I did, yeah. Let's just take away this lip here. And then... Oops. There you go. That can go... This goes back in here. Take this away to swap for that. Wonderful. Okay, so we've shrunk it down by one. I can now place a block in there and in there. And that gives us the width now of the actual, like, pew part. This is where the pew is. This hill stand at the end here. And on the tapped out version of the game, that it's only three blocks, uh, or three windows, sorry, wide. So that would be one window. That would be the second window. That would be the third window. Actually, that works out pretty well in the scale that I've got here. But I think I'm going to add at least one more window. Oops. Ah, come on. Stop placing it there. At least one more window. There we go. So that gives us four windows uh, width. And then we have to... Hmm. We could come up... We could come up one more block. Like that. Come on. Along here. Ah. Up there. See, uh, and then we've got the arch of the window then. One there, one there. One there, one there. And boom. So that's where the windows go. Now we can probably just copy and paste, paste, paste this. I think we're pretty much done for this episode. Uh, but if I can get this one other side in, at least we'll have a pretty good blueprint on where we're going to go from there. Paste. Is that in line? Did I get it right? I think we got it right. Wonderful. So then an arch goes on the top. The arch is going to be a horrible part of to do. Uh, I'm not looking forward to that at all. Uh, but it's going to have to be done at some point. <laughs> it's got like a, a bowl sort of dome top. And those... We can do it with, with carpenter's blocks. No problem. But it's just going to be difficult to do. It is going to be difficult to do. And then the back of it will just put a big stained glass uh, window in. All right, guys. I think we're going to leave it there. Uh, if you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And we shall see you in the next episode where hopefully we shall continue on uh, with the church. All right, guys. Bye.
Bye.